welcome to the Art Building. My name is Amy Gehring and I am the Art Instructor here at Central Christian College of Kansas. I'm very excited to walk you through this space and show you the creativity that happens here all year round. Um, we have acrylics class here, oils, ceramics, stained glass, and a couple others that rotate, but those are the primaries. And let's take a look around. So if I lead you this direction, this is kind of our ceramics area. And we have pieces on display over here that are being worked on, not completed yet. If we kind of pan this way, you got the kiln over in the corner. Wheels over here. We're going to be starting working on the wheels actually next week in class. Assortment of glazes and different things. This is a workshop, so there's a lot that goes on in here. A lot of materials, a lot of supplies. This area has pieces that have been bis fired, which is the first firing. Some of them are glazed and getting ready for the final firing, and some of these haven't been fired at all yet. You have Perceiving the Arts pieces here, which is a very beginner level introduction basically to the humanities and the arts. And then there's also some um, fundamentals of ceramics pieces here too. Over here in the corner, we have our beautiful kiln that was donated to us last year, and this has been such a blessing to us. So our previous kiln was old and it was retiring. It wasn't working anymore, about half the size of this one. This, actually, we can put so many more pieces in here. It's reliable. It always does what it needs to do. It's electric. It's wonderful. We love it. And this morning, I actually just completed a bisque firing, so I removed pieces this morning with my mittens. Everything was still pretty warm. The, the bottom layer in here has not been removed yet. So there's multiple layers that get stacked on top of each other with shelves. And I'll reach in here and actually pull a few of these pieces out for you. So these have gone through their very first firing. They're bisque fired. Let me introduce you here to Shiloh here. So at least take a peek at what she's working on. Shiloh's working on her sculpture piece for ceramics. And if I can pull you over this direction, this is our stained glass area. And in the spring, we will have this glass and it'll actually take over this area as well. Right now, there's not a lot happening since this class isn't in session yet. We do have a couple pieces left from stained glass last semester, which I will show you in a bit. These little pieces of glass that are being cut out right now are actually for perceiving the art. So I'm working through cutting out little pieces for making glass jewelry with the students. And they won't be cutting out the glass, but they'll be able to wrap the copper foil around the pieces and take their, their hand a little bit at soldering with some help and hopefully get a new experience in the arts and have a lot of fun with that. Let me walk you around this way and we'll take a peek at some other um, artwork by students that were there last semester. So these two paintings here are examples of oil painting, and this particular student wanted to focus mostly on portraits for his pieces throughout the semester. So these are two of his. They were done really nice. Um, he worked with the Zorn palette, which is a limited palette that I start students on when they're working in portraits, and it's amazing just how many different variations of skin tones you can get with that limited palette. And if we creep down this way a little bit, here's another ceramics piece. So this was done last year. And this is an example of a cultural piece. The more advanced pottery students work on a piece that's supposed to represent a piece of history and dive into uh, studying different cultures. So this is Grecian, and it tells basically a story going all the way around the piece. So it's a lot of fun in that one. And here's another sculpture. She used a special glaze on that one that isn't considered food safe, so we encourage them to use that on sculpture instead of their mugs. If we look at this piece here, this is acrylic paint, or wait, excuse me, this is actually an oil painting from last year, and this is a landscape piece. So this was her first experiment in color in oils class. These two pieces here were done by students. 
So this one here is a stained glass piece that just needs a little bit more reinforcement up at top. And until we hang it, it's gonna sit here on this easel just for safety. This piece over here is a mosaic done by a student and they have a lot of fun with that one. It, it's just a little bit of a different break. They're not using copper foil to wrap the pieces. They're not soldering, but they're using um, tools to cut the glass and to create their design and lay it all out. Over here along this wall, there's this great big long shelf and we have some beautiful pieces on display. So up here we have um, some of my UCO's work. So my UCO graduated in 2017 before my time here. Very talented artist. She's in Japan doing wonderful things and using her art minor there with all kinds of creativity. These pieces are to represent basically the creative hand of God and beautiful colors representation of her interpretation of all that went into creation. These two pieces here were done by Amanda Shaw. Amanda's on staff here at Central and Amanda is very gifted and such a blessing to us here on campus. This is Naomi Olam's painting over here to represent communion. And Naomi was the previous instructor for art here at Central. She also took such a huge part in basically the whole remodeling and the making of this building. Naomi also won the, the Servant Leader Award um, in 2019. Over here, I'll just bring out a few of my pieces. So most of these have been done basically for instructional tools for students going through and doing a demonstration, helping them before they start a project so they know how to go into it. These two here were for Perceiving the Arts. And basically, in Perceiving the Arts, they get the opportunity to do a little painting. And I do a painting first, and I show them from basically start to like the 80% mark completion of where this painting should go and how I work through it. So this one here is not as finished as this one, but I wouldn't say that is at that 100% finished mark, but at least gives them an idea of how I work and what my thought process is. These paintings, let's see if we grab this one, are for the landscape. So in, in acrylics class right now, they are working through doing a landscape painting. They do it first in black and white, and they're basically primarily trying to learn about value. So value is the relationship between lights and darks in a painting and trying to see that even if they are looking at a color picture, they are going to interpret it in black and white according to those values. So they do that first and I will show them how to go about that. And then they do the exact same painting except larger in color. So this is my little demonstration for that. Again, not finished, but it's getting there. And they work with a very limited palette on this as well. They don't get every color under the rainbow. They just get a few colors and learn how to mix those well to um, create a wide variety of color. And this, if I pull this out here, is a personal studio piece of mine. So I love painting in nature. I love exploring. I went out to Breckenridge, Colorado a year ago, took a bunch of pictures, painted on location. So this is from some of the photo references and the little paintings that I did while I was out there. And if I were to hold this one up next to it, you'll see that this is actually like a zoomed in portion of the, of the screen. So I bring this in for the students just to see, okay, so I'm showing you how to do this, but this is the whole picture. And this still needs a little bit more work, but it's getting really close to being finished. I just need to um, find some time outside of prep work to finish that up. I'd like to thank you very much for just allowing me this time to show you this place and to show you some of the creative things that have been happening this semester and what happened last semester and just, letting me share even what's going to happen in the future. I'm very excited about all of that and allowing me to talk with you about that. So if you're ever in the area and you would like to stop by and see this place in person, please let me know. Please stop by and I'd be happy to show you. And as always, we appreciate your support. Please support the arts.